Hi, these are the top five reasons why people get hypertension or high blood pressure. I'm Dr. Patty Bartsch. I'm the owner and founder of Naturally Unbridled Wellness, a holistic therapy center in Onalaska, Wisconsin. Real quick, the information presented here is for educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prescribe for any disease or condition. Please consult your preferred healthcare provider when making wellness choices. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about blood pressure. Um, what blood pressure is, it is literally the amount of force in your blood vessels, in your arteries. And there are different things that can cause your blood pressure to go out of what's considered the healthy range. So I'm gonna quickly take you through the top five reasons why you might have high blood pressure. So the first one you can probably guess is stress. And the reason is stress will put you into fight or flight. That um, sympathetic part of your nervous system, it's called the sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight response, that causes things to happen physiologically in your body so that you can literally run for your life or fight for your life. So if you had to run for your life or fight for your life, it would make a lot of sense if you could get oxygen and glucose to your arms and legs and brain, heart and lungs, run, 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 fight, 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 right? So stress, whether you're actually running or fighting for your life or you have a deadline at work or a screaming baby or financial stress or like pandemic stress, all that stuff, um, that could cause this fight or flight response that can cause your blood pressure to go up. So little hack here, some measured deep breathing in through your nose big belly breath, and then slowly out through your mouth. Preferably if you bring in a little ohm vibration, ohm, all the way out, that vibration actually massages the vagus nerve, which is the fight or flight pathway that comes very close to your vocal cords. So it's a double whammy when it comes to overcoming that fight or flight response in that you're overriding the nervous system and, and creating this slow measured breathing. And then the added benefit of that vibration of the ohm chanting um, helps to reset that vagus nerve. The second reason why a lot of people have high blood pressure is they're overweight or obese. Now I know we're not supposed to say things like, oh, it's not healthy to be overweight, but let's talk about the physiological reasons for high blood pressure and when people are overweight. So your heart, it's probably about as big as it's gonna get. It kinda can get a little bit bigger, but in general, your heart doesn't get any bigger. But for every inch of fat on your body, you have about a mile of capillaries or different blood vessels in there. And so you have the same size pump, but miles and miles of more blood pressure or more, more, um, more blood vessels to have to get the blood through. So think about your garden hose. So if you need to make that, that spray go further and you've got the spigot all the way open, what do you do? You put your thumb on the hose and you create more pressure so that that water will shoot farther. And that's pretty much what your, your arteries have to do when you're overweight or obese to get oxygen and nutrients to your extremities. I've seen cases of morbidly obese people on multiple blood pressure prescriptions to try to get their blood pressure into the normal healthy range. The problem is when they do that, when they get their blood pressure into the normal healthy range, it's taking the thumb off the hose and the blood can't get to the extremities. And that one of those extremities is the head, the brain, and those people end up having narcolepsy. They fall asleep because they don't have enough oxygen and nutrients getting to their brain. So one great way to help lower your blood pressure is to lower your weight, reduce the fat, um, get fitter, 
and your there's no reason to have the thumb on the hose, your heart is going to be able to push that blood far enough to get to your extremities. Another reason, reason number three, why you might have high blood pressure is improper hydration. So you have a finite amount of blood in your blood vessels and that blood volume is a lot of water. There's a lot of water hydration part of your blood. So if you become dehydrated, your blood volume goes down. So you can sort of think of that as not having the spigot opened all the way. And so what your body has to do in order to get that blood to go to your extremities and to get to all of your cells is it has to squeeze down on those blood vessels to get that blood to go further. So again, hydration is critically important for all aspects of health so that you can have the appropriate blood volume so that your blood vessels don't have to squeeze down to try to get that reduced volume to go further in your blood vessels, okay? So drink plenty of water. The next reason why people might have high blood pressure is a mineral deficiency. And often magnesium, sometimes potassium, sometimes even other minerals, but, um, People, okay, standard American diet, disgusting, deplete of nutrients, just horrible, and nobody can be healthy eating those foods. But sometimes people are eating a pretty healthy or very healthy diet, but they're not doing a good job breaking down that food into its component nutrients. And minerals might be some of the things that become deficient over time. Don't get me started on the acid blocking drugs that create all kinds of nutrient deficiencies, but minerals can be a cause for high blood pressure. So very often magnesium or and or potassium supplementation can help to reduce blood pressure because the arteries are have smooth muscle and that's what contracts to pump your blood and well, as your, you know, your heart beats, but your arteries actually um, will squeeze too. They have um, smooth muscle in them. And so muscle is very responsive to different minerals and magnesium is considered to be a vasodilator. That me vaso means vessel and dilator means open. So it will open and relax your blood vessels. So sometimes mineral supplementation is the solution. The last of the top five reasons why a lot of people have high blood pressure is actually sleep apnea. Um, sleep apnea is a very serious condition where people have reduced breaths and actually can stop breathing while they're sleeping. When you're not breathing, you're not taking in oxygen and your brain needs oxygen for function. And so what it will do is it will increase your blood pressure to try to get more oxygen to the brain because you haven't taken a breath in several seconds. Um, so sometimes people have high blood pressure because they're not um, breathing in their sleep. That's a very serious condition and um, it's often rectified with a CPAP machine. Um, if, you know, if people are having sleep apnea and they're taking blood pressure medication, they're actually exacerbating the lack of oxygen to their brain. Um, so it's really important if you do have sleep apnea where you're not um, breathing at different points during sleep, you literally can die from this. Um, you really need to uh, get with a professional and get a sleep assessment um, to see if you can get that resolved. There are some other reasons why um, people might have high blood pressure. Kidney dysfunction is one, thyroid imbalances, other hormones, that sort of thing. But I wanted to give you the top five reasons why people might have high blood pressure. So stress, overweight, hydration, minerals, and sleep apnea. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash naturallyunbridled um, for more content like this. Thanks and have a healthy day.